My name is Ezra Danzig. Uh, I'm coming from Edison. My topic was climate change and the American psyche and how the American psyche around climate change is really what's preventing people from taking action. When I heard I was a finalist, my jaw started shaking, which it is still doing. And then I walked up onto the stage and I got a couple high fives. And then I kept on shaking until, well, I don't know when I'm gonna stop shaking. It's not as difficult as you think it is to make other people care about what you care about. Because as much as we try to deny it, we're all connected and um, we care about each other, whether we think we do or not. 1.2 billion. That's the number of people affected by flooding from 1992 to 2001. That's one in every six people on Earth. That number has only gone up in the past decade. 100,000 people were killed by those floods. 30,000 people died during the European heat wave in 2003. According to the CDC, heat waves like that, that happen once in 20 years, will increase to once every two to four years by the end of the century. We can't let that happen. Last summer, my family and I took a trip to Puerto Rico. We stay stayed in an Airbnb on Vieques, the small island off the coast of San Juan. We were surrounded by wild horses, mango trees, lizards, amazing people. At this point, I don't know if the culture I got to be a part of for that brief time even exists anymore because of the recent hurricanes. The Pew Research Center has proven that most people think climate change is a problem, but that it's only such in places not their own. There's a serious disconnect here. Climate change is killing us, and we need to act now to stop it. Humans are naturally social creatures, and we like to move forward as a group. So the real reason no one's doing anything is no one's doing anything. People complain that it's too expensive, that their actions won't have an effect. They're wrong. Your action of riding public transportation will open the doors for others to do the same. The benefit will increase 100-fold if you tell people what you're doing. With social media, it takes seconds to reach millions, so spread the word. It's easy, and once it gets going, it won't stop. So open the floodgates. Check out the UN Environment website to see what you can do. It's as simple as turning off the lights when you exit a room. Sort your recycling. Tell your neighbors. If you have the money, install solar panels or get a hybrid as your next car. Better yet, Get the nicest bicycle on earth for less than a tenth of the cost. Use Divi in the CTA, get out and walk or ride. We can even get some exercise in the process. The effect of climate change is real. People die. It's not some distant problem, something you can't know. Climate change is not victimless. My call goes to everyone supporting the recovery from Harvey, Irma, Maria, it includes those recovering from Sandy, Katrina, Fukushima Daiichi. My call is to you, all the humans on this earth. And I quote from an excellent writer, Mr. Lynn manuel Miranda, stop crying, God damn it, get up. Do something about it. Thank you.